We are coming off a win, our first win in fact. Now we're getting greedy, we want a second win, but it is going to come at the expense of the world number one, Carlos Alcaraz. Welcome back guys to Son of Scotland, it is the Andy Murray retirement tour here on AO Tennis 2. This is episode 5, we're taking on the world number one, it's Spain versus Scotland and we don't like Spain ever since that Rodri prick and that's what he has a prick ever since we beat them and he says that we are rubbish and we are anti-football i mean that's just turned the whole of scotland against spain so we're going to be extra up for this match i am going to give my absolute all to defeat the world number one but yeah it's not going to be easy let's get into it look at these stats he is the number one in the world he's number one seed ah man speed 94 stamina 92 power 94 overall 89 this is not good. It is. It's not good. What shirt can we put him in, actually? Let me see. This one kind of looks like the Spain shirt, so we're going to kind of stick with that. And we're going to wear the shirt that we wore last time because we won. It's our, it's our lucky shirt. So, yeah, it's the only shirt that we haven't lost in. So we're going to wear it, and we're going to see how we do. But, yeah, this is... I mean, this is going to be a tough game, guys. I'm not expecting... I'm not expecting to win. If we can play well and make it pretty close, then that is that's that's one thing, you know, that's probably gonna be an achievement. This will be the, the highest ranked player. Of course it's the highest ranked player because he's world number one, but this will be the highest ranked player we've played so far. Previous best is uh Tipitas, who is ranked ninth. So and we struggled against him. We lost three sets to nil in the Australian home. So yeah. I'm expecting Alcaraz to be good here. Ladies and gentlemen, but we need to try and improve our rank so that when we, when we get to the when we get to the big tournaments that we're not getting people like Alcaraz in the first round. That's what we need to avoid. So uh, yeah, we've went with heads. The coin is heads and we're going to serve. We're going to try and put the pressure on straight away. So let's go. Andy Murray versus Alcaraz. Let's do this. That's not great. First shot out on forced error. That's nice. I like that. We went we went short at the net and we dropped it. Fifteen all. Second serve coming up. Nice, Sandy Murray then finding the line. Two points in a row, and this is what we want. Come on. We're in Holland here. Let's try and get the fans behind us. That's poor, though. We've had two good shots and two unforced errors. Mixed bag so far. And we slice it into the net, and already Alcaraz has break point here in the opening game. Despite a decent start for us, it could be all over. And it's out. I mean, we'll, we'll challenge it, but it does look like we've lost the first game. Yeah, it's out by a mile, to be honest. Alcaraz then takes a 1 0 lead. And we'll see what we can do against the serve. Ah, Gonna challenge that as well. Linesman been saying it's out. And it is out. Unforced errors already. Look at that. 5 to now. And that's the pressure against the top players. I think do it does that to us. But we need to stop it. We can't allow that to happen. 
15 all, good shot for Murray, that's what I like to see. Alcaraz came into the net, trying to put pressure on us, and we're like, no, nah, not today. Nice ace though for Alcaraz, couldn't do nothing about that, too quick. He takes a lead 1-0 in the ace department. Nice, we'll get that in, and it's 30 all, could we be looking at a break back here? Possibly. Possibly. Can we see a double fault perhaps? Alcaraz. Is he going to feel like giving us a present? No. Nice. We've, we've managed to force a break point. We've forced a break point. Can we take it though? Can we make it one each? In the first set. No, we can't. We slice it straight into the net. Juice. Poor shot for Murray. It's very poor shot. 40 all. Deuce. Brilliant. Andy Murray, another break point. About to serve up here. Oh man, that's... I mean, just when you think we're getting a chance. Well, we did have a chance. And we didn't take it. Seven unforced errors. Ah, oh, right into it. Now it's advantage Alcaraz, and it could be 2 0 coming up. Unforced errors absolutely killing us here. We've actually hit more winners, but the unforced errors are letting us down. Fucking hell. Alright, it's 2 0 Alcaraz. And Spain are beating Scotland, and I don't like it. What, I, we need to stop this. We need to cut these out. That's a good ace, right? Come on, Murray. Oh, what's that? I mean, come on. Come on, 15-30. Alcaraz predicted to win this match. I think it's kind, to be honest, giving us 30% at this rate, at this stage. That's a winner there for Alcaraz. It's 40-15, it's two more break points. And Andy Murray now could be 3-0 down in the next couple of seconds. Lob for Murray. Wide for Murray. <laughs> 3 0. Six minutes in, 3 0. Two break points, one for Alcaraz, zero break, uh, break points, one for Murray. So, I mean, it, this could be a closer game, it really could, but we're just not taking our chances. What the fuck? <laughs> Alcaraz jumping there in mid air. Right, it's love 15. Alcaraz holds here, he wins the first set 4-0, but we're going to see what we can do about that. We're going to do nothing about it, because we're just, again, unforced errors straight into the net. These unforced errors must be, must be about, must be about 15 now for us, surely. Ah! 
We'll challenge that because we're desperate. Yeah, it's out. I thought it was out. Proved to be out. Now we're about to get knocked out, I think, in the first set. Nice. Leveled it up for each. And again, another unforced error. Hands, Alcaraz a set point. We're just gifting him this first set. And that should be that should be deuce and we've had it out. 4-0. Um we've had eight winners, Alcaraz only hit one, we've had sixteen unforced errors. We need to fix that set this um the second I was gonna say second half. Second set. Bit fortunate there, but we'll take it. <laughs> we'll take it. Murray apologizes. Don't apologize for shit. We need all the luck we can get. I'm going to challenge that one though, because that one did actually genuinely look into me. And it's still wide, still out. into the net. 21 short rally that time. Nice ace for Andy Murray, 200 kilometers. 30-15. That's just wild though, isn't it? That's terrible. 30 all in this match. Could slip away for us in the next couple of shots. Oh, we've been fortunate again there, <laughs> Murray. Getting lucky here. Nice, and we hold. So we get the first serve to Murray. 1 0 in this second set. Well, he can't do a lot about that. That's a brilliant shot for Alcaraz. Fires back. This is only only second winner of the match. Oh man, and this is just not good. Straight into the net. Nice. Alcaraz this time with the unforced error. Nice to see he's not a machine. He can make mistakes. What the fuck is that, man? Seriously. Forty fifteen, and it's going to be surely second game. Alcaraz here, and that's out. Another unforced error. 40 30 now, a chance for us to make it deuce. Can oh, that's out again. I mean, this could be 40 all in a minute. If Alcaraz doesn't get this shot. He doesn't get this shot right. No, we're the ones that don't get it right. It's 1 1. Alright, we just need to make sure we hold. We hold and take it to a tie break. Nice. That's what we want. That's what we need. 
opening point of this game. That's wild, man. We can't be doing that. You know, we, we've got the advantage in that rally. And we're just handing it away, man. Good ace, though. Good stuff. Come on, boy. 3 1 in the ace department. Overhead. It's backhanded. Oh god, it's still in. Ah, oh, and we hit the net. That point could have went to anybody, fair to all. Ah. Out. <laughs> this, is, this is tricky. Lose this next point. And it could be a game over. And we have lost it. There you go. Just like that. Alcaraz breaks. He leads 2-1 in the second set. And now he's serving to make it 3-1. Drop shot. Didn't really work. Um, Alcaraz is too good for us there. Another winner. 13 shot rally. 15 love to Alcaraz. Where the fuck is that going? <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was terrible for Murray, man. That's our 20. You can see why we're losing. The amount of unforced errors we've had in this match. What happened? Oh, that last game we were actually good with unforced errors. We cut that shit out. And in this game, we've just embarrassed ourselves. It's 40 love to Alcaraz. And we've, the unforced errors are killing us again. I'm going to challenge it. Don't see the point really because we're 40 love down, but out again. And that is 3 1 now to Alcaraz. Must win game coming up for us here. Lose it and it's match over. Dreadful. Absolute dreadful. Fifteen all, crucial. Come on, good second serve needed here. Ah, that's too good for Alcaraz. Can't stop that. Fifteen thirty. Drop shot, that's good. That's out. 30 all. Nice. 40 30 Murray then. One point away from taking this fifth game and getting back in it. Another drop shot. That's well out of gate if Alcaraz, so brilliant stuff. Murray rescues that one. It's free to, and if we can find a break, we're back in it. But we had, we had two break points in our first uh, our first receiving game and we didn't take them. 
see if we can muster up some break points this time. It's a good start, though. It's a fault for Alcaraz. Double fault, Alcaraz. Right, okay. Love 15. Andy Murray. Maybe something can happen here. Wow, good, good shots for Murray. And it's Love 30. Two points away if you're leveling up this second set. That's piss for Murray though, I mean. And it's 30 all. We were love 30, it's 30 all now. Oh, that's wild for Murray, and that sets up match point for Alcaraz, and Murray just gives the thumbs up, I don't know why. A long rally that time, but... I think I was out. Come on, what do we do to have to win this point? We ain't going to win it, that's why. We've lost the point. We've lost the set, we've lost the game. Alcaraz takes it 4-0, 4-2, and he wins this battle between Spain and Scotland. You can see his stats there. We had three aces, he had one double fall, we had 14 to 4 winners, but look at that, 33 unforced errors, and that is what cost us the game. No doubt about it, guys. You can't make that amount of errors and expect to win. We made that amount of errors and we didn't expect to win, so. Disgusting. <laughs> Disgusting amount of unforced errors in that game. Uh, Jamie Bond says I give that match an 8 out of 10. It's funny, funny, funny guy. Uh, I mean, we put up a decent effort. I mean, even in that first set, we had break points. We could have potentially broke the Alcaraz serve, so I mean, I'm not too downhearted. I think we did okay. Looks like we've gained some money from that tournament. Alcaraz went on and won it, so he beat Djokovic in the final. So, I mean, that kind of tells you everything. He, he beat Djokovic. So, I mean, that's not bad. That is not bad. Um, I'll give it a yeah, fuck it, I'll give it a, I'll give it a 5 out of 10. But uh, current ranking, the 39, ranking points earned 20, total ranking points 665, prize money earned uh, 91,000. So we gained 91,000 from that. That's good. That is very good. You have received a new message, special invitation, event invitation. Oh, okay. Your popularity has gotten you invited to participate in the life without faults. Uh, I'm not going to do that because I just don't want to. But, um... Yeah, let's look at the rankings. I'm um, 39. How high can we go? Hopefully a little bit higher. Try and get into the top 32. We're approaching Jack Draper and Daniel Evans. We're not far behind them. So, I mean, we could be the number one Brit soon enough. And Cameron Norrie, though, he is quite a bit higher than us. So, yeah, I actually didn't realise I forgot about him. It looks like this week, though, we've got a rest week. So we rest, and although, I mean, it does look like Andy Murray's fine. I don't know if we really need to rest, do we? Can we um, buy anything here? No, it doesn't look like it. Let's see, what can we do? So any 
You can create a new custom clothing. Um, let's see. Skills, management. Can we buy anything? Got 151,000. Uh, a nutritionist. To make sure you're eating correctly and not getting tired quickly on the court, your nutritionist will set you a proper diet to keep you fatigued at proper levels. Not bad, to be honest. Flights. We could upgrade flights. Accommodation. Transportation. Coach. Your coach will keep an eye on you and help. Yeah, I mean, coach, maybe. Cost us a lot of money. Don't really have anything. Can't afford that right now. Uh, doctor. Oh, so there's options here, but we're not going to use any of them right now. Activity feed. Uh, yeah, it was a good game. Your popularity has risen. Yeah, I mean, it's good that our, our popularity has risen, but still, I'm not happy with the performance there. What about the overview? I'm pretty sure you can actually check and see how you, you played in these tournaments. It's not letting me go back, but uh, I'm pretty sure you can look and see how you got on. So, Hold on. Can we find the settings here? My player. It might be in my player. My, yeah, my player. Can we get it? I'm pretty sure there's a way. What's options? No. Pretty sure you can see all the games that you've played. But for some reason, it is... Okay, so you can click this. Okay. So it shows you the performances and stuff like that. We've got Australian Open, Sydney Championships, uh, Serb Up Hope. Yeah, so we beat the Opera. Yeah, so if you look at our, our rankings here, is what it is. We need to do a little bit better. So, are you sure you know? Let's see what we've got up next. So, it's a rest week. So, we've rested. That's good. Up next, we have the World 100s. We're entering that. Uh, one of our ranking points is 1,000. One of prize money is 1.5 million. So, a lot of money at stake. We've moved up to 38 in the world. So, that's good. We are now 38th in the world. We're moving up and we're heading on up. Uh, Jack Draper's moving up. Daniel Evans is moving down. So, yeah, up next, we've got the Indian Wells Cup. What about the weekly planner? Let's plan our week for March. So we're going to enter this, which is happening in Indian Wells, United States. After this, we've got some futures. So we're going to enter some of these futures in Glasgow. So I know they don't really pay that amount of that much money, but it might just be worth winning a tournament. We could enter the doubles. Do we enter our first doubles competition? Do we enter our first doubles? I say we do. We're going to enter a doubles. We can enter doubles and singles, so. Are we going to... What are we, no, you can't. You can only enter one. Do we enter the doubles? We have not played a doubles yet. Do we enter doubles? You know what? Screw it. We're going to do... We're, we'll do doubles. Fuck it. Why not? Let's do it. Let's set that up there. So, uh, doubles. Boom. Uh, what else have we got? Singles, future, we've got tournaments here. There's a tournament in France. Yeah, but the World 100 is on in Miami, so you kind of have to... Yeah, I mean, ideally it would be good to enter that, but we could not enter it and just... Uh, yeah, so I think we'll not enter that, actually, because it's a lot of tra travelling to America, so I think we'll just enter the tournament in France, and then week 11, we've got more tournaments in France. I think we'll enter this one, the Challenger 125. And then that will take us up into the last week of March. And what we're going to enter in March, we're going to stick close to Europe. So we will play in... We'll play in the Challenger 80. There you go. Or do we have a rest before we get into the next the next tournaments? That might be what we do. Nah, we'll, we'll play. I think we can play. Or do we rest? Nah, we'll, we'll rest here. That takes up to April. Like, let's sort this stuff out here. So, we'll, we'll play in this one here. The one in... Mo is that Montanique? I don't know where that is. We'll play in that one. Um, singles, doubles. We'll play singles. Uh, week 14, we've got the World 1000 in Monte Carlo. We're going to enter that. We're going to enter just singles. Then we're going to do the World 500, World 250... We will enter the World 500 singles. It takes us up to April. We can. Uh, these are all clay tournaments. There's a, there's a future 15s and but you kind of have to enter the clay one. So we'll. 
I think we'll enter this one in Munich. We'll do a single and double. So oh, here we go. Lots of tournaments set up here. We'll enter the Madrid 1000. We'll enter the Rome 1000. We'll take a rest week here. But we're going to book it up to the French Open. So <laughs> let's do this. Uh, what else have we got? Leon. We're going to... Oh, wait. Is that the French Open? Paris, France. Oh, that is the French Open. I almost missed it. So yeah, the French Open. We're just gonna sit, we're just gonna focus on singles, and then after that, we're gonna take a we're gonna take a rest week. So boom, that's it. We're booked up to week twenty one, guys. That is how our career mode is gonna pan out. Hopefully, we can win some matches. Hopefully, we can win a tournament. Hopefully, we can get some money on the board. So yeah, that's it, guys. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one. This has been the Andy Murray Retirement Tour. We've won our first game. We're not ready to retire, but we're not ready to beat someone as good as Carlos Alcaraz just yet, but hopefully by the end of the year. I'll see you next time. Till then, peace.